Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will try to solve a problem on Cobb Douglas production function. The question is like this. Consider an economy with homogeneous Cobb Douglas production function with two inputs, capital and labor. Okay. The share of capital and labor are respectively uh, one by third, one third and two third. Okay. Uh, the growth rates of capital and labor are respectively 6% and 3% per annum. If rate of growth of output per annum is also given as 6%, what is the rate of growth of output due to total factor productivity? Okay, so let's write first uh, the, uh, our typical Cobb Douglas production function is given like this. Q is equal to A K to the power alpha uh, L to the power beta or 1 minus alpha whatever you write, uh, write it okay so we are being told it is homogeneous Cobb Douglas production function that means alpha plus beta should be equal to 1 is it 1 yes because alpha is 1 by 3 plus beta is 2 by 3 which is equal to 1 okay so this a is our total factor productivity this k is capital so write it capital and this is labor okay and this alpha shows a share of capital a share of capital and total output and b share b shows us share of labor okay so what we have to find here we have to find uh, the change in our total output which is not explained by capital and labor we have to find uh, how much percent does our output changes with the increase in total factor productivity okay so we have to find this uh, total fa factor productivity so coming to the question first i will write here q is equal to a k to the power alpha l to the power beta and then i will give uh, these very variables the numbers okay first uh, i will try to derive how to find this out so first we will take log on both sides so take log on both sides so this becomes log of q is equal to log of a because these are in multiplication so multiplication becomes addition when we take log so we have now we have alpha this a becomes log k this alpha becomes coefficient log k uh, plus sim similarly this beta uh, log l it is simply the log logarithms you can uh, easily see what is meant by this okay now we will take differentials take differentials on both sides okay now what is the derivative of log q this would be 1 by q into dq okay del q i will write it like this what uh, the derivative of log a is 1 divided by a del a uh, plus alpha the derivative of log k is 1 divided by k 1 divided by k del k similarly we have beta the derivative of log l is sim simply 1 divided by l del l i am taking the differentials on both sides okay because uh, log of x is simply equal to 1 divided by x okay so this is how we do it now we have dq upon q is equal to del a upon a plus alpha del k upon k plus beta del l upon l okay so what does this say is us this says change in our output is equal to change in the total factor productivity plus the uh, the capital share into change in the capital plus labor share the change in the labor okay so what we have to find we have to find this very thing this very thing all are being given what is the change in 
let me write it like this if we transpose this on if i write del a upon a is equal to del q upon q and transposing all terms so we have del k upon k minus beta del l upon l so it shows us what is the share of total factor productivity in our uh, change in the output okay that very change in output which is not explained by capital and labor and which is uh, explained by total factor productivity okay so what is a del a upon a it is our change in total so i can write change in total factor productivity is equal to del q upon q means change in or percent change in our output which is given us here six percent so i will write here in place of this six percent minus alpha uh, here we are being given the share of capital and labor are one by three and two by three alpha is the uh, capital share which is six percent uh, beta is the labor share which is three percent okay so we have in place of alpha we have sorry for the mistake actually it is one by three uh, it is here one by three and we have two by three this is the share of uh, alpha and beta that is share of capital and labor okay so alpha is one by three i will write here one by three into this del k upon k that is percent change in our capital which is given us here so i will write here percent change in capital is given us here six percent so i will write here into six percent minus beta that is a uh, labor share that is two upon three into del l upon l that is the percent change in our percent change in our labor that is given us three percent so i will write here three percent okay now change in our total factor productivity would be equal to change in the output minus change in our labor share and change in our uh, sorry capital share and labor share so we have six percent this three twos are six we are left with two percent here minus this three and three gets cancelled so we are left with three or two into one percent is two percent okay so change in our total factor productivity is equal to six percent six percent minus four percent which comes out to be uh two percent okay two percent we also call it the solos residual that very change in our output which is not explained by either by these two uh, terms and which is actually explained by this total factor productivity or we call it the state of the technology okay so uh, we can actually use this very formula uh, directly i have solved it for you people how to derive it okay so basically here we are using the logarithm first then taking differentials and after that rearranging the terms to get the total factor productivity on one side and then solving this very question i hope i make myself clear thank you